Good morning, everyone, and welcome, welcome to Natik in Elk Grove, California, and NatikYarns.com coming to you live on this beautiful, soon to be not so beautiful summer <laughs> Thursday. It's supposed to be 100 degrees exactly today. And yep. I'm like, pleasant. That's the word, pleasant. We'll just stay inside and play with yarn. Right? I halfway debated cranking the AC for like an hour this morning and making it cold in here yeah. so that it could like take longer to heat up. And then thought that's probably not good for the air conditioner. So probably you're not supposed to do more than like two degrees at a time. So I was like, okay, well, I won't do it, but I'm tempted to do it. I'll just think about it. Right. Exactly. Like it won't hurt the air conditioner to think about it. I think. And then it'll make you feel cooler because you're thinking about it. Possibly. Maybe. If not, I'll go stick my head in the freezer. There you go. We have a very small freezer because we have like a mi a big mini fridge. Yeah. And it, it's like an apartment fridge. And I'm like, yeah, if I get hot, I'll just go stick my head in the freezer. It's not even that big. <laughs> you could spit your head in the freezer, though. You could. Like, if you need to desperately cool off, stick your you, face you, in there you, for a minute. you'd be okay. Because the water coming out of the pipes is not going to be cold today. <laughs> it's no. going to be warm. Okay, good morning. So we have lots to talk about this morning. I have patterns picked out galore for the pretty yarn. Um, we'll talk about our grand prize, which only today and tomorrow left to get entered. The drawing is on Saturday. Well, uh, I, June is gone. Don't know. Moving on. Don't know. We're almost officially at halfway through 2023. Which is crazy. Because I think technically you have to go a couple days into July to be halfway through because February is only 28 days. True. So I wonder when the like exact halfway point is. Somebody, we'll Google, July, somebody Google that. We'll say July 4th. That makes oh, it easy. Yeah, that works. And that's why we have the day off because it's the midway of the there year. There you go. Yeah. It's our midway break. I like I it. made that up. All right. So... We have a fun grand prize with only a couple days left to get entered. We have the Concept Summer Tweed Degradé in this gorgeous ombre blend of lavender, blush pink, caramel, lemon yellow. Three skeins is about 600 yards. This is a worsted weight hemp blend yarn, so perfect for summer weather. We've got two of the skeins nesting inside of this beautiful shimmery leopard print project bag with the little wristlet strap. And then it also comes with one of our World of Imagination stitch markers. This is a marker that is only available with the bag and it does fit up to a size 13 needle with that pretty pink ring. This is another one of the snag proof rings because we are all about the markers that do not snag the knitting. We have three patterns to go with this. We have the superposition top. You'll have enough yarn to make the smallest size, um, which is a 40 inch bust, or you can easily add to it if you need a little bit more because we do have this colorway in stock. Then we have a really fun kind of, I call it a triangular basket weave because it makes these little stair step triangles in the fabric texture. And you'll have enough to make the largest size on that one. And then the Tablon Cowl, which is a really fun variation on Fisherman's Rib. It has like a seed stitch kind of vibe to it. But with that knit one below technique, this is a great project if you've never done a knit one below to learn how to do it. And I believe we have an on-demand class for this one as well. Uh, and you would have enough to make the largest one of this one. So you could potentially make like the largest one of this one and a small of this one or a large of this one and a small of that one. Like you've got options with the yardage. Then we have the adorably cute I'm the rainbow sheep of the family socks. And last but not least, we have the class supplies tin. It has folding scissors, locking stitch markers, small and large of our snag-free iridescent rainbow markers, the 
retractable tape measure, all in one handy tin, and then we included one of our glittery Natique Peep stickers that we just did for our birthday anniversary. That is the last unclaimed sticker. Yeah. This is the only sticker left. They lasted almost the whole month, which was pretty almost, impressive. Yeah. That was pretty good. I mean, we, I will say we did order a lot of stickers because we wanted to make sure everyone got one. So hopefully you all got a sticker. Because that's what we wanted. It's for everybody to be a Natique peep. And how you get entered into the grand prize drawing. Every time you make a purchase, whether it's in the boutique, online at natiquearns.com, or even over the phone, it's going to get you an entry. And it is cumulative. So the more purchases you make, the more entries you get. So, like, if you snagged up some fabulous art yarns kits yesterday and then you decide to snag up some yarn today, that's another entry. They will both count. So then we'll move on to our daily prize, which is a class we just taught, the Lomere de Carre Cowl out of DK Weight Yarn. We have it paired with a retired color of Alexandra's. This is Flamingo in the Pendleton DK base. Kind of a dusty pink. There is enough yardage here to make the small or medium cowl, which is the gator or necklace length sizes. And how you get entered into the daily drawing is by interacting with our video. Um, Beverly, I just might be. Uh, so if you comment on the video, you can always use one of these fabulous little shortcuts and comment real quick, or you can add other comments to ask questions, say, oh, I love that yarn, etc. Uh, you'll get five entries per comment if you react to the video with any of the little bubbles. I'm afraid to click too fast. No, still. no. Um, then you'll get one entry per reaction, and then if you share your stories, to your friends. You can send it in Messenger. Wherever you share, you just have to come back to that day's video and comment shared to and where. And then you're going to get 11 entries per share. Then we come over to our handy dandy comment picker, which will pull off of the previous day's video. So your entries today are going into tomorrow's drawing and see who the lucky winner is. Kate Plowden, congratulations. Kate, you are not local, correct, Anna? Uh, <laughs> she is not. We're going to look at our bag here while we talk. Kate, next time you make a purchase, let us know in the notes you have a prize, and we will include it in your shipment. And if you win and you are local, you can pop in the boutique to let us know you have a prize, and we will get it out of the cabinet for you. And I love the little zipper sheet bag that is called Pearl, P-U-R-L. If you are in love with said little sheep, I believe we only have two of him left. Whoa, so those are going fast. One should definitely make sure they stop procrastinating on purchasing their sheep bag. Because I do not know if we will be able to get more or not. Kate is watching. Very exciting. Yay, congratulations, Kate. I've got your prize all tucked away safely in the cabinet. Now I just have to grab my link for you guys so I can tell you about some beautiful yarn. While you do that, let me zoom behind you. That is the No Need to Panic sweater by Casapinka. We used Cosette. Lots of texture. I can't quite get close enough to show you guys very well. I'll have to teach you how to zoom on the phone later. Oh, I did. I just, uh, just a little closer. There we go. So many fun textures. All right. All right. So, pin. There we go. All right. So, beautiful new yarn. Who's ready? I mean, not new, new yarn, but it's new this year yarn. And we had restocked this beautiful colorway because everybody loves this sweater. This is the cover sweater from Noro 22. We'll talk a little bit more about the pattern towards the end of the video, uh, but I'll give you just a quick little, like, here's the back. 
It can be buttoned. It cannot be buttoned. I'm not buttoning it because it's supposed to be 100 degrees today and I need room for airflow. Yeah. We so, do have Noro 22 in stock. Let me have it hiding sort of hiding there. right here. Bring it out a little bit. There we go. And our nice cold slushies, which oh, tis the we season would, for we slushies. We would like now, yeah. All right. All right, so this is Noro Haruito, which is a summery blend of 40% silk, 40% cotton, and 20% polyamide, which is essentially nylon. It's there for structure so that your yarn holds its shape well in things like sweaters. Um, it is a little over 400 yards per skein because it's 375 meters. It is a worsted weight about 18 to 20 stitches on, um, let's see, where is it? US six to seven needles or 24 to 26 stitches on, I think that's the crochet hook sizes, but I don't see the crochet hook sizes on here, which is weird. Oh, and Haru is the spring and Ito is yarn in Japanese respectively. So Haru Ito is a born sunny season yarn. Nice. Uh, Jackie, we will get back to you on yardage for the sweater. So let me find it in the magazine. Right there. Oh, that's right. I have one with tabs. Yes. We keep our thumbing through the magazine for our store copy. Did you label your post-its? I labeled what yarn they were out of. I did not label like what nice. page the pattern I with. Take actual pattern was on. Close up here at the pretty colors while Anna finds the pattern. All right, we're going to try. We got persimmon and some, you know what, I want to call that roasted caramel. That works. That works. Okay. Um, a little bit of your, I always say it wrong, curacao. Blue curacao. Because I was going to call it something else, and you're like, no, 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 it's the other one. Daniel's favorite, blue. Some green. All right, so here we go. Let's see. Hopefully there won't be glare. But right here is the sizes, and then right here is the number of skeins. Like I'm trying to block it off just so yeah, that we got it. only the important parts are there. Quick screenshot, folks. And then... but so three to six skeins for a size range of a 40 to a 58 and a half. Oops. So quick, go purchase the magazine. If you just search Noro Magazine... It will bring up all the issues we have in stock. I'm trying to put that away. You haven't finished with yep. it yet. So this is color number one. Did you describe the beautiful avocado green or the rest? No, I called it green. <laughs> just broke in. Or the like bronzy <laughs> patina gold right no, here. No, I did not. <laughs> That's the color one, we're wearing. You're yeah. more wearing I mean, look at all the shades all broken apart. Like you can see here's. Like right about here is where the color repeats because here's the cobalt blue and then here's the cobalt blue again at my cuffs. So that's all the colors. Hold your arm out sideways and we can get it all in one shot. There we go. That's so pretty. All right, how long do you want me to do this? Oh, let's just see how long she can hold it, everyone. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Someone tell her um, when she can put her arm down. You know that thing that we're, like they talk about like, you know, a cup weighs more held out here yes. than out in it here. Does. Yeah. My arm weighs a lot when I'm like this. You need to do that more often. Apparently. <laughs> Don't tell our chiropractor that because she'll she'll she'll, she'll have make me. That. Yeah. Uh, color number so color number one is the one that I am wearing. It is the top color, partially because you guys have all seen how absolutely beautiful it is. If you like all the blues and greens, but maybe you don't want all the warm tones in it, then color number six would be your friend. Somebody asked what size. Oh, Beverly, it's the extra oh, small. Oh, this is the smallest size, which, what did I say the measurement was? 40? 40, I think, yeah. I shouldn't have put this away. Well, that was very you know? organized of me. 40. And she puts it away again. I know. I don't know what I'm thinking, but I'm not thinking that's the situation we have at hand. Okay. Okay. Color number six is very much more cool toned. You've got all these beautiful shades of blue. I feel like I have to just move this out of the way. 
is you've got the kind of dusty denim, cobalt, a little charcoal, pewtery grays, some soft like sea foam, sky blue. This kind of taupey gray is pretty. It's got a little bit of like a lemon yellow leaning to it. The bright turquoise. And then just the slightest little bit of like a blush pink and some chocolate hiding in the middle there. So you can see a little more cool toned than color number one. Color one has a pretty equal balance of warm and cool colors, whereas color six is mostly cool colors. And I have so many patterns. Ravelry is my friend. It's a very good influence. Ooh, that's pretty. Right? I'm sneaking peeks, everyone. Okay, so first up, for anybody who wants to try Entrelock, this is like the project for doing it because it's a big, loose gauge. So you're going to get to go through it fast. The stitches will be easier to see for learning where to pick up. And I love this combination of doing like one color for, no, it's not that one. Okay. Um, <laughs> one color for the main body and then another color for this narrow panel on the side. They did it on one end too, because you can see the blue down here on this end. But this is a perfect project for learning Entrelock because it's seven and eight needles. And you're only going to need probably two skeins. Yeah, one skein each of your two colors. Nice. I think we have an Entrelock pillow class on demand. I feel like we have be something good. Entrelock. Be good for learning the skill. And you could easily do it with this project. The num Just your number of stitches might be a little bit different, but the overall concept is the same. So if you don't want to make a pillow and it's a pillow class, don't make a pillow. If you keep going, it's a scarf. Yeah. And then we have Grist. This is just a really fun and fast triangle shawl that can easily be done any size because you're just repeating a sequence of garter stitch, double wrap, drop stitch, garter stitch, double wrap, drop stitch. So it pairs really well with a self striping because you're just getting to play with all of those color shifts. I'm going to say this one tells you to cut your color every time. Don't do that. Why would you cut it? I don't know. Are they, they alternating between two colors? Mm -hmm. Oh, ignore that. Mm -hmm. Just use normal, do the whole thing. Yeah, just do like two skeins or one because this is a really big shawl. So you could do a one skein shawl and it'd still be plenty. And don't bother with the changing colors mm -hmm. ridiculousness. Just let Noro be beautiful. I think that's what drew me in on this one hold on i feel like there was a project out of just oh maybe it's being it was being slow it started oh that one maybe well it's still two colors isn't it yeah it didn't look like it but close enough you know yeah i helped somebody with this one and we're like yeah, no, don't cut it every time. No, that's way too much work. Okay, one more, and then I'll show you guys more colors. This is a Laguna Beach by Rosemary Drysdale. Really cute, simple top. You've got stripes of stockinette with a garter ridge in every stripe, and they're alternating between two colors. You could easily use the same color, just start at different points in the ball if you don't want it too colorful. But this one is... The equivalent of two to four skeins, just depending on what size you're doing. She just says small to 2XL. Um, when you purchase the pattern, of course, it will have more details on the yardage. But it is one of the ones in number magazine number 22. It's pattern number four, so I can tell you. There you go. Two patterns, 100% worth purchasing the magazine. So it has... 40 to 56 inch for the bust and let's see four to seven skeins of silk garden so that would be one to two each of your two colors on Haruito so one to two skeins 
of color A and color B. So you're looking at two to four? Yeah, two to four okay, total because it's two colors. You know, I just broke someone's math you, brain out you, there. You did mine. One of our customers, I won't call them out, posted a picture of their grandson in a t-shirt that said like 643, like 6 plus 4 plus 3 with the little line, and then it said 2. And I'm like, is this that new math that we're talking about here? Like 6, six what? 6 six. plus 4 plus 3 equals 2. Even I know that's not. And I'm like, that's a terrible shirt. The one I like is the one my son has that has... Whatever you call a triangle when you're looking at math and it, it says, you know, a bunch of math numbers and it says find X. And there's an X and you circle the, X, the letter X and it's right there. <laughs> math is easy. That, no, I can do that. Sounds about right. You'd yeah, I think that, that shirt picture. was also a to be funny, like making fun of, you know, math is hard or whatever. But I was like, wait, don't do that. <laughs> Somebody's going to believe his shirt. Math is not for everyone. All right, color number seven is this gorgeous kind of autumny palette. Look at the beautiful marigold yellow. There's some lilac. There's some sage green, some turquoise, lime, kind of more of a forest green, this dark blue gray, a rust, a like lime, lime shaved ice. Because yeah. it's got that, like, pastel look to that color. Key lime ice. Mm, there, yeah, okay, now we're getting fancy. Melanie is Some a color. Some blue, <laughs> dark teal. Like, really just beautiful kind of summer to fall palette on this one. Nancy, I agree, cannot go wrong with Noro. They have so, so many good colors. So many good colors. I should let you describe this one because it has your kind of some of your favorite colors in it. Color number 11. Pink, purple, blue, teal. <laughs> I mostly tried to get her to fill in so I could take a drink. Yeah, of my I know. This talking is, you know, mouth drying outing, which I know is it, terrible. Yeah, English, okay. We have bubblegum pink and blush pink. I have to not look through the camera because it's darker yeah, it's there. Darker on the phone. Oh, yes, Deb, the Boy Knits book, you definitely need that. Okay, I don't know what to call it. Is that the bubblegum pink from the yeah, other side? Yeah, that's what I would call bubblegum. And then this is like a blush or a rose. This is like a beautiful soft white with lavender highlights. Oh, thank you, Kathy. <laughs> Teal, mauve, silver with fuchsia highlights, then there's some periwinkle, a little bit of ultraviolet, some berry. I'm just going to call it goes with my nails and I need it. That's fair. You goes do have pretty nails. pink nails. You do have pretty pinkle nails. Pinkle. Yeah, they are pinkle. Okay, let me show you guys. Ooh, I forgot about this one. So show you guys some more projects. She's tormenting me, you guys. I didn't mean to. It's not my fault you oh, didn't look fast okay. enough. Oh. All right, I'm going to stop looking. Is that number 11? Uh, this one is, uh, oh, yes, number 11. Very good. All right. Livingston is gorgeous. They used two different colors because you can tell this, like, goes, like, even these little wing patterns oh, does, change it? shades. But I did think this morning that a great pairing, even though they're technically different yarn weights, I looked at the gauges. They are close enough for government work. You could pair Haruito with Kakigori mm. and do like a solid color in there to really make it pop. I think they used a silk garden for this part. But it's just easy stocking it. And then about the time you're like, I'm bored. I can't do it anymore. You start adding in this cute little mosaic detail. I want to see the back. Is it... I don't think they have a picture I of the know, back. but I... It... And then the chevrons. There's going to be like little slip strands across the back on these spots. So it's probably going to look very like woven on the back. It's like a mix of Fair Isle and Intarsia. Don't you think? Because when those little shapes stop, 
Yeah, it's like mosaic in Tarja because you've got like you'd have the slip stitches <clears> here. <throat> You're gonna have knits here on both the right side and the wrong side because that's what makes the little ridges. I know that this is one of those that you know we have to do yeah. just to figure out how to do it. What are its tags? Um, Slips. nothing helpful for you. Huh. Let's see if her description says anything, because I'm pretty sure it's mosaic knitting, but I could be wrong. Nope, she didn't say. You just have to buy the pattern and find out. That one's very intriguing. Oh, look, she has a thing. So you guys should look and see if you like any of her other patterns before buying it, because she has a little coupon code for buying. If you buy one of her other patterns, then you can get this one for free. Oh, nice. Yeah, they used one ball of Akari and one of Silk Garden. So you could do two Haruito and one Silk Garden or one Kakigori. I like that the color shades between the, the two yarns. They both shade. Yeah, I feel like you could easily um, get away with one and one and just start this repeat earlier because it's a little bit big of a shawl. It could be smaller. And then we have the Witching Hour Shawl. This one's for the crocheters. Which, hey, maybe now that they're doing that cowl for us, maybe right? we'll get the kid hooked on crocheting something other than Amigurumi. Hooked on crochet. You're funny. <laughs> I actually didn't mean it that way, but... That's really pretty. See, that's my kind of pattern. It's easy to see where you, you go. Yeah, as you can see, you're going in the big hole every time. But it's alternating like... A row of smaller stitches and then a row of taller stitches. So smaller and taller, smaller and taller. That I did on purpose. Yeah. But cute little simple lacy triangle shawl done on size 11 crochet hook. So that's fast. And one ball would do it because this is easily a stop anywhere kind of pattern. I really like that. Oh, them yes. to, we need them to offer that option. Okay, and then one more. Inovec, which was originally out of Ito, but it would make a much better summer top out of Haruito. And I have to go show you guys something in the projects because... Oh, look, look familiar. <laughs> Man, that's pretty. And that one is out of two skeins of Haruito. So you can see how beautiful... That I couldn't even is. tell it was a round yoke from the right like, picture. Isn't She's it got a beautiful sweater? Everywhere. That is gorgeous. And there's some texture to where the increases are. Like it's got like a past stitch over pattern going on or something. Very, very cute. Does she ever sleep? <laughs> Clearly not. <laughs> we think we knit a lot. Okay. So then that, I will show you what color that is so you guys can see how beautiful that color is. Because that is color number two. Oh gosh, that's gorgeous. That is what she's wearing, is color number two. That was two skeins of this gorgeousness. And you can never ever tell where one ball ends and the next begins. No. So. Don't worry about your color changes. Yeah, don't worry about if this one ends with the vermilion and the next skein starts with the magenta. No one's going to notice that jog in your stripes because there's so many color changes. We've got vermilion, blush, kind of a blush rose pink, teal. We've got a little olive here, emerald green, lime green, spring green, kind of an orchid lavender magenta, this one just keeps going, persimmon, caramel, cream, so many good colors in color number two. This one might be my favorite. That's... I, I think I that may be is. the one on the cover. I think so. Yeah. But our sample is out of color number one. I can't hold them both in, in the same place at the same time. I'm not that skilled. Sorry. Let's 
Got that one there. My yarn ball balancing skills are limited. Well, maybe we can go like that. Because, but wait, there's more. Oh, so better. Then we have, this is my other favorite. This is color number 10. Very warm palette. You've got lemon yellow, spring green, little splashes of sky blue, some melon, some raspberry, magenta, this soft peachy cream. There's some sunset orange. Kind of more of a jade green. Like there's just so many good colors in this one. Very warm palette. That is color number 10 since somebody just called somebody else out yeah, for their did. color. <laughs> Not to, you know, name names or anything, but Melanie and Joyce. That's what friends are for. Right? Finding you, your perfect color. I love when groups of ladies come in that are like friends and they encourage each other to buy stuff. Oh, it's very fun. <laughs> All right, this one I have to go back to the project because you guys have to see it in Noro first. There we go. Okay, so this one, I was like, you have to see the beautiful texture in the Noro colorway first because the pattern is beautiful went wrong way but it's more beautiful in the Noro this is Berimiel Berimiel I don't know by Laura Ayler which I love her patterns they're all very easy but you can see this really cute stitch detail on here there's like Kind of a center double decrease, but it's not as, it's the other one where it's like knit two together and then knit one and pass it over or something instead of, it's not the one where it's centered. No, the line's it's not, not up the middle. Not, I know it's not that either, but I can't no, quite, it's not my brain's one. not, my brain's not calculating it correctly. Yeah, and it's got the little pearl triangles in there. It's like that Z all one I did, only very different in yeah, its own way. Yeah, because it's like it's not quite that what the heck smocking do do? stitch, but it looks like a decrease done backwards. And it looks like a cable, but I don't know. It almost looks like they did a knit two together, slipped it back to the left needle, and then passed the next stitch over it. Okay, someone do that one so we can help right? you with it and, and like, learn it. I love her patterns. This yeah. may need to be an add to Anna's to knit list because I have to know how that stitch is done. Right. And I think I have to do it in... Oops, wrong way. I think I have to do it in Noro because look how pretty that is. Then we have Rickle. This one is all about just showing off your favorite color in Noro. It's garter stitch with a decrease down the middle, increases on the edge. So you get this one big, beautiful chevron. And this one... She says any yarn, any gauge. There's going to be more details once you get into the pattern, but I'm guessing two skeins of Haruito would do this one based on people's projects of Whoa, around like 660 yards. Oh, they, that that's so not even this chevrons. pattern. No. And look at this one. They did like, oh my gosh, that's pretty. That one's somebody's hand spun, so nobody get attached. I'm too late. That was like, oh, <laughs> that was like, oh, one. One and done. Literally for real. one skein, wonder. <laughs> like there's only one skein. Um, uh, and then the Adolfi scarf. If you want to do a little bit of a really fun lace, Ooh, that zoomed weird. It's like columns of rib. Look how she tied that with a little lace detail in the middle. Oh yeah, she did like the keyhole thing with a twist. Literally, that's awesome. And then this one, she just like tied it. But really fun. Oh, the lace is, look, the lace is inspired by this cute little succulent. That is cute. And it does kind of look like it. It does. Like it looks like little stems of it. And that one would be two skeins to make the full-sized scarf. 
Right, I have one more color for you guys and then more patterns because rabbit holes happen. But this one is for the spring palette, peeps. This is color number three with all those beautiful soft colors. You've got blush pink, a soft sky blue, lime, lemon, powder blue, lavender. Uh, you've got kind of a soft white, a grass green, this really pretty gray violet. I'm like, what colors did I miss? But just beautiful springy palette in color number three. Let me grab a few more links for you guys real quick. We'll put all these together so we can get them all in one pretty picture. Oh my goodness. I have several favorites now. Right? So pretty. Clicky, clicky. Yeah. Because <laughs> sometimes I click in the wrong spot, so that creates lots mm -hmm. of extra clicks. It, it's tricky that way. Okay, this is another one that I thought, uh, pair it with Kaki Gori, and it would be amazing. You could use Kaki Gori for the background and then Harwito for the stripes. Oh my gosh, I'd do it the other way around. The main reason I say that is I'll show you in a second, but look, this has the beautiful, like, contiguous nice. sleeve shaping so this is not a seam this is your increase so it's top down really cute kind of oversized boxy fit technically dk but again the gauge is right there at where haruito wants to be so who cares what that says uh, it has sizes from 39 and a quarter to 70.7 five and then this was the one that made me think oh haruito oh, and kakigori cute. because yeah. you've got the color shifting little stripes on the more solid background i didn't think it would change that much so that's really pretty that one's not haruito but it gives that like that was what made me think oh that would be fun i mean some people did like Totally different stripe sequences on theirs. Babies in a matching sweater. Right? Like, <laughs> how cute is that? Yeah, because this was originally done with like two different color solids for the um, stripes. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that's too much. That's too many ends to even. Yeah. I'm using Noro. So that is Hanko? Hanko? I don't know. Then this one, okay, I had to link this project. So there, the pattern for this is in the project because somebody made it up. So this, the cattail is the pattern. But look at this cute crochet project. I'm like, I want to message them and be like, can I turn this into a real pattern for you? Because you could sell this. Mm -hmm. Like, I will type it for you. You need to sell this pattern. I mean, they are giving it away for free by putting it in the, the notes but I want them to like be like rewarded for this beautifulness. Yeah, that is really nice. You write it, I'll get E to make it. <laughs> but here, it's all written out down here. So it's wow. in their notes. They literally Holy made moly. it up. They literally made it up. And I'm like, okay, I love you. Take the next step, person. That's awesome. Right? Like, please let me help you turn it into a real pattern. Although you can just copy and paste that into Word and print it. You, if you yeah. are like so inclined as to make it, like we should get E to make this one. Uh -huh. All right. One more. This is the Rivers Wrap, which I will show you guys why I picked this one too. Because this one's lots of just easy garter stitch on the bias stripes with a slip stitch edge that creates that faux I-cord border. But it was really pretty in Noro find it this one wow and they just alternated between two colors or i think they might have used the same color because it started to blend right here here's another one but they just did two rows two rows didn't really worry about the color blocking that you see in the original pattern 
and it's gorgeous. Take the silhouette and make it your own. Right? Pretty. All right, I'm officially out of patterns because at some point you have to take Ravelry away from me. Because I could go for days. Mm -hmm. I think that's why my internet decided to block Ravelry on my phone for a while. It's like, you've been on here too much. Time out. <laughs> Calm down. I'm like, but it's so pretty. But Ravelry, we need. Okay, I definitely talked a lot about this beautiful yarn. So, so that we have time to pull orders and get them packed before delivery people get here, I will switch to what are we wearing, and then I will sign off. So I am wearing Spectra. It is the pattern on the cover of Noro 22. Um, it has this beautiful all over lace detail ribbing on the bottom and the cuffs garter stitch for the bands uh, the pattern is available separately on Ravelry but if you like more than two patterns in the magazine I highly recommend getting the magazine instead because it will cost you less money and then you will get more patterns and then the my favorite part is this little cable detail hiding in the back of the sweater Look, they have little eyelets in the middle of the cables, uh, and I didn't even see that on yeah, the magazine. Yeah, it's really pretty. I love that detail so much. I'm like, that's my favorite part of the whole sweater, and it's where I can't see it. <laughs> I'm like, I want to figure out how to, like, carry it down yeah, exactly. right here. Like, there's some in shaping that I'd have to figure out how to work that around. But, you know, I've got spare time. I can figure yeah. that out. I mean, if it's bottom up, that's easy to Yeah, I can figure it out. I think it might be the other way, though. Maybe not. Nope, those are decreases. It is bottom up. I'll figure it out. I've totally got plenty of time to do oh, that. Uh -huh. We'll just acquire the yarn and worry about that. Part there you later. go. All right, I will take the phone from Susan. I have to start saying her name correctly because I started accidentally saying shush words on other <laughs> things, and I'm like, okay, I'm forgetting how to talk. I have to stop. We talked about this one yesterday. This is Paris in Berlin, and I added beads. It is not written for beads. But it's everywhere you do a pearl stitch on the pattern, you put yeah. a bead instead, Up right? here, these are supposed to be pearls. I put a bead. And then down here, it took me till this row to figure out where to put the beads, so I could have put them on top of that one. And that's just a knit stitch in between the slip five. I think it's five. I think so, yeah. And if you wanted to use yesterday's kits, just put the beaded silken sequins down here in the border until you... And that have, would be lovely. Yeah, just go until you have enough to bind off. I still think it'd be fun to try it as the slip stitches and just do that section as big as the beaded silken sequins oh, fits and then switch to a garter border. That Moving would on. be pretty. I gotta go. <laughs> no. <laughs> you have to take the camera back. You may not run away. Hey, but I can cast on tonight. Yes. We'll see. Uh, okay, you guys, that is going to be it for the video today. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found some new Noro to fall in love with because it's amazing. I will say because it is a summer blend, like this is not a hot sweater at all. Like I thought I'd get hot during the video <laughs> and I'm only like this side of warm, which is good because I don't think the air conditioner's kicked on yet today. No. Perfect for the Delta breezes we get in the yes. evening. This is a great, this is also a great grocery store sweater because mm. the refrigerated section is freezing. And I know why it's freezing, but I hate the refrigerated section in the grocery store. I have to bring a sweater. Just wait. I, I just want to stand in that row. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my kids are like, it's cold. Can we go? No, like, you I'm guys go stand in another aisle. <laughs> I'll be right here. Yeah. Thank you. I'm going to decide which of these 700 flavors of frozen pizzas we want for dinner for an hour. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I have to pick dessert, so, you know, ice cream. Great. You can just be there all day. <laughs> yeah. You know, when it gets to 110 degrees, I may be with you. Okay. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you again tomorrow. Have an amazing day. Bye.